If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. After you create a new blank Photoshop document, you can place additional images into the round separate layers on top of the background layer that appears by default within the Photoshop document if desired. A document file in Photoshop can contain many layers. A layer is like a transparent sheet placed on top of the background layer. You place additional images and other items into their own separate layers within a Photoshop document, so you can select a certain layer and then make changes to only the content in the selected layer without putting image content within the other layers at risk of accidental edits. When you use one of the place commands in Photoshop to place an external file into an existing Photoshop document, the file is inserted into its own separate smart object layer. The advantage to placing the file into a smart object layer is that you can then perform many common image editing tasks on the smart object layer in the Photoshop document, like transforming it in various ways, without degrading the raster data in the file. However, you cannot directly use the raster editing tools of Photoshop on a smart object layer in Photoshop. To edit a smart object layer that contains raster content using the raster editing tools in Photoshop, you must either rasterize the layer, which removes the advantages of the smart object layer, or use the edit contents command on the smart object layer to edit its raster content in a new window. You can then save the changes to the content and close it to update the content of the Smart Object layer. You can place an external file into a Photoshop document as either an embedded file or a linked file. An embedded file is embedded within the Photoshop document, which increases its size. After it is embedded, any changes made to the external file's contents are not reflected in the embedded copy. Alternatively, you can also place an external file into a Photoshop document as a linked file. In this case, a link to the external file is stored within the Photoshop document. If you make changes to the content of the linked file, those changes also appear in the linked copy you placed. To place a file in Photoshop as a smart object layer, first open the Photoshop document into which to place the file. If desired, select a blank layer in the Layers panel into which to insert the file. The selected blank layer will then be converted into a smart object layer after placing the file. Alternatively, if you select a layer containing existing content, like the background layer, Photoshop adds the file as a new smart object layer on top of the selected layer. To place an embedded file, then select File, Place Embedded from the menu bar. Alternatively, to place a linked file, select File, Place Linked from the menu bar. Photoshop then opens the Place Embedded or Place Linked dialog box respectively. In either dialog box, you then navigate to the file to place into the Photoshop document. Click it to select it, and then click the Place button in the dialog box to place the file into a layer as an embedded or linked smart object. Note that if you are placing a PDF with multiple pages into a Photoshop document, you must select which page to place within the Open a Smart Object dialog box that appears set any other settings as desired, and then click the OK button. The selected file then appears within a bounding box in the center of the open Photoshop document. You can then apply any transforms to the placed file if desired. To change its location, click inside the bounding box and drag it to the desired location. To resize it, 
place your mouse pointer over one of the resizing handles around its border, and then click and drag when your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed arrow. To rotate it, place your mouse pointer outside the bounding box until your mouse pointer turns into a bent arrow icon. Then click and drag to rotate the file. To finish placing the file, then click the Commit Transform checkmark button in the Options Bar control panel to commit to the changes. Alternatively, Click the Cancel Transform button in the Options Bar control panel next to the checkmark button to cancel the entire file placement. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.